with an arable landmass, favorable year-round weather, and manpower to cultivate various edible nutritious fruits, ranging from oranges, pineapple, mango, among others, the stage is set for big business. But perishables like these require special attention to preserve and ensure smooth delivery to the final consumer after harvest, either to serve as fresh edibles or packaged. A difficult task without an efficient storage and transportation mechanism. These micro uh, producers, when you enhance them, it will go a long way. They understand handling, preservation, and then marketing. And it will improve their result and our GDP will grow. So that's exactly where we are doing. Findings reveal that the absence of effective storage often leads to unwholesome practice by some farmers and traders alike who tend to chemically preserve these fruits, which pose a health risk. The idea of storage facility, we, are, we have total, total deficiency because as I speak to now, we don't even have uh, any storage aspect talking about to learn how to, you know, how to, how to put it into practice. It doesn't still stop the post-harvest losses. And so government has to step up in making our roads good from farm to the markets. That is number one. Number two, the storage facilities in terms of cooling vans. Experts at this JICA training for rural farmers canvas continuous stakeholder engagement through training and enlightenment on modern preservation methods to boost production and enhance value for money in the fruit agro-business, which is a potential economic earner. In Suleja, Abdullahi Suleimani Yaji, NTA News.